All right, here we go. This is another launcher review. This is Halo Launcher. As you can see, this is uh, supposed to look like ice cream sandwich, and it does quite well. Um, runs really smooth. It even has your extended dock on the bottom here where you can put more icons, which is pretty cool. So, um, yep, there you go. That's, that's basically your look of it. I'm going to show you a couple things. Uh, your folders. Very much uh, ice cream sandwiches. I really like the folder little setup here. Pretty cool. Um, you know your icons look all ice cream sandwich style icons. Show your app drawer really quick. Here's app drawer. Scroll through it. It's got a favorite thing up here. If you have favorites, you can favorite uh, your different uh, icons and put them in there too. And your most recent. I don't have anything in there. I haven't been playing on it really. So that's your uh, your app drawer there. Um, let's look at some of the settings. Launcher settings here. General. Auto rotation design. Keep in memory. Locks your launcher in memory if you want to do that. Use ice cream sandwich icons. Let's see if we uncheck that. Let's see what happens here. All right. So that's just whatever icons were in your phone originally. It'll refer back to those whatever those icons normally look like for you. Mine look like this already because of what I'm running. So, um, let's go back. I like I like the ice cream sandwich look. So we'll re-enable that. Um, enable scrolling widgets. If you have scrolling widgets, you can enable it there. Uh, desktop settings. You can edit, edit screens or you can change your grid size. 4x4 four four is what we got here. Um, edit screens. What that does is just allows you to to move your screens around and get rid of screens if you don't want them. Uh, transition effects. There is only two. So the normal one, which you already seen, and card stock or stack. We'll go ahead and hit that really quick and see what we got. So there's my icons are back. So this is what it looks like. So that's that's card stack. I don't really love it. So we'll go back in here and hit normal so infinite scrolling means you could just keep scrolling through your home screens forever which I like that also it loops around your speeds um, edge scrolling you can hide your status bar or hide your icon uh, labels I'm gonna hide my icon labels show you what that looks like so there you go so there's no labels underneath eBay or YouTube or anything um, or Twitter or just just the symbol so that's basically what that does um, nice if you like that look I like it so uh, let's see what else do we got here uh, drawer settings you can come up here you can go horizontal or vertical I have it on horizontal which you've already seen that you can hit this and you can hide apps you can pick apps you just don't want to show up in your app drawer and then you can save that setting if you want um, it's up to you so you've got that you got your grids different grids your transition effects again it's just two non and card stack um, so infinite scrolling on your app drawer also got that in there labeled um, hide recent apps hide favorite apps you can just do some different things uh, recent I don't think I'm gonna use much so I'm gonna get rid of that um, hide play store icon in your app drawer uh, I like that feature so we're gonna leave that there um, so yeah there's some different things there hide icon labels again you can hide those labels in your app drawer if you want to I do not so We'll go back there. Dock settings, uh, you got things, different pages, icons. I don't really use the dock, so I'm not going to mess with this much. But if you want to, it has it. Uh, let's see here. Key gestures. So if you hit your home screen, it's going to go to previews, your home button. If you, uh, if you hit first time, it's going to just go to the home screen. If you're already on the home screen, it's going to go to previews, screen previews. So there's some there's some good uh, features there. Uh, long press menu uh, key goes to search. You can set that to notifications, toggles. What I do? Not do nothing. And you have your swipe up and swipe down actions. So you got screen previews, notifications, search, launch an app if you want on a swipe up, whatever you want to do. So those are your buttons there. You also got your backup and restore of the launcher or just restart the launcher. So that is uh, all your features there for the most part um, not really super feature rich 
but it's a very small file or app to go on your phone so it really doesn't take up any size and it just works best if you really just want ice cream sandwich look this this works excellently so um, we definitely rec recommend that uh, this this uh, app here this uh, Halo launcher if that is what you're looking for so yep guys that's pretty much uh, Halo launcher there um, those are your features and down here your extended uh, dock bar so but I do like it I'm going to show you how to add a, add a widget here just really quick standard you know analog clock bam widget so um, pretty pretty basic pretty much standard uh, standard procedure there so like I say if you just want a quick fast uh, launcher this this does work great so thanks for watching guys